is so what scriptures Muhammad was reading if you do not know the scriptures of the true God well he was reading nothing because he was illiterate exactly he was okay. illiterate okay so you. so Muhammad is illiterate according to you Muhammad okay. you do not know the scriptures Muhammad he have no faith so what was his religion his religion <laughs> Uh, Muslims they say that Allah is God. What is the proof that Allah is God? What do you think? What do you think is the proof? Uh, uh, no, you tell me. You see, I'm just learning, learning from you about your God. You tell me what is the proof to make Allah is God? Well, the fact that I see uh, uh, Christian Arabs say uh, Allah. Well, those Christian Arab, you know, they have a translation for the Bible, but this is but false they translation. call him Allah. It doesn't matter. Even when they okay, listen, I, I will give you an answer. Those Christian Arab, I am an Arab, and I am a Christian, and I don't say Allah. Yes, when I command Arabi. Okay, no problem. I and I don't say Allah. But if you can mute YouTube, please, so you can have you will have no double voice. But in the same time, those Arab Christians, they believe that this Allah, the one you are saying, he have a son, his name is Jesus. Is that what you Muslims believe? No, we don't, because so, Allah so doesn't obviously have a son. what they are talking about is not your God, correct? Uh please continue. Yeah. So their God is not your God, that's obvious. They believe in Jesus, they worship Jesus, and they believe He is God. Now I'm asking you, what is the reason for you as a Muslim to believe that Allah is God? I'm listening. Well, the fact that Allah is God in Arabi. I like it when you say the fact. I mean, how the fact became a fact, what does that mean? Because Arabs ha have been calling God Allah for a very long time. Exactly. So guys, did you hear it? Our friend here, he just said, the Arab they worship Allah, but the Arab they were pagan. Huh? But the Arabs weren't pagan. They are, they are pagans. The Quran says so. They were. Into Misham, Habibi. Well, you explain to me, isn't it? The Quran says that the Arab they are pagans. The Arab didn't. Well, the the Quran didn't say that all the Arabs were were pagan. For was the father of Muhammad pagan or not? Yes, he was. Okay, so Muhammad is born of a pagan family, correct? I guess he was. That's mean Muhammad is pagan because you. What is your religion, Muslim? Because but what? that doesn't mean. What he's, is your religion? He's pagan. What is your religion? Your religion Islam, is. Islam, Alhamdulillah. All right. But that doesn't mean Sayyidina Muhammad is pagan. Okay, now prove it. Here we go. The the. the what do you mean? Well, isn't it the Quran says that Muhammad he don't believe in God in certain time? He don't believe. No, no, okay. it doesn't. All right, let us see if this is true or not. Uh, you can you can look at the screen in my YouTube, please. Uh, but just to be sure to mute so you don't you know we don't have double sound. Uh, what through. is the verse? Uh, I will I will open the verse for you. So uh, you said to me that Muhammad doesn't mean that Muhammad was a believer. So what was the religion of Muhammad before he became a prophet? Muhammad became prophet at the age of forty, correct? Yes, that's true. Okay. What was the religion of Muhammad before that? Well, the Prophet ﷺ, he never, uh, he never bowed down to an idol. Okay, we will, we so, will, okay, uh, we will show you from the your books that the Prophet he did. But this is another yeah? question now. Yeah. By is whom? It, this is. This, uh, I will show you from your book, from the books of Hadith. Oh, which books of Hadith? Your Hadith. We, which we, ones? We, I will show you. Just wait one by one. But I'm asking you now, what was the religion of Muhammad before the age of forty? He was just uh, an asik. Yani he was. Uh, he worship what? He worship whom? Allah. All right. Of course. Can you read for me chapter forty-two, verse number fifty-two? Forty-two fifty-two. Forty-two fifty-two. Correct. <clears throat> okay. Even so, we have revealed to you, O Prophet, a spirit by our command. What's wrong with that verse? Continue. وكذلك أوحينا إليك روحا من أمرنا ما كنت تدري ما ما الكتابة ولا الإيمان. Okay. What okay. ولكن جعلناه نورا نهدي به من من نشاء من عبادنا. That is a disaster. You just say it in Arabic. ما كنت تدري ما الكتابة. نعم. ما كنت تدري. Correct. ما كنت تدري ما الكتابة ولا الإيمان. كتاب ونات كتابة. Kitabu walal imanu. So your prophet do not know the book. He do not know faith. 
he never have faith. So what? What you told no. me? No, what he did not know what okay. faith read, is. Read, read, read. Yeah, he did not know what faith it's is. It's not that he didn't had faith. Okay, hold on. If I say to you, you do not even know what faith is, that means you don't have a, you know, you are you are not a Muslim. You are not a believer in the true God. You don't even know what faith is. <laughs> so what do you mean you don't understand? You're trolling? You speak Arabic and the English in the front of you. You speak both languages. And this your translation says, nor what faith is. So, was Muhammad a person who have a faith? No, he have zero faith. He do not even know what faith is. If I say to you, you do not know what core yeah, but what kind is. Of faith is it? You tell me. He don't know what faith is. Allah is saying to him, you do not know what faith is. He do not know what the book. You do not know scriptures. So Muhammad is a pagan. He have nothing to do with that? any scriptures. No, he wasn't a pagan. It doesn't say that. Well, it says that you do not know. No, it what... doesn't. Okay, listen, listen. I, I am a Christian, right? I know that the Jews they have a scriptures and I know it correct. Tayyib, can you tell me so in the I Bible know, that? So I know. Uh, hold on. Don't change topic. So I know. The, I know the scriptures of the Jews. At least. No, no. You can Warjini, my friend. Listen, <laughs> you can, can Warjini. No problem. So but it says here, you do not know what the scriptures do. Muhammad in you. You said to me he was worshiping the God of Abraham. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Did Abraham brought brought the scriptures? Naam. Did Ibrahim bring any scriptures? Uh, they were called Suhuf Ibrahim. Exactly. So, but do yeah. Muhammad knew anything about the scriptures of Ibrahim? No. No. So, what he was worshiping, not the God of Ibrahim. What do you mean? You say that he do not know what is the scriptures or anything of the scriptures of Ibrahim. So, what Muhammad was knowing about God, if he did not know Abraham, Abraham is the one who brought the knowledge about God for us. Who is the Sorry, one? Habibi, I just need you to to repeat that one more time. Okay. Who is the one who brought the knowledge for the pagan? And me and you, our ancestors, they used to be pagans. So who is the one who brought the knowledge about the true God for us? Abraham. Do I agree? Mm, no. The first one was Satan Adam. Abraham, uh, Adam, uh, Adam, Adam is dead. Did Adam come to you and he told you about Allah? No, he didn't, but uh, but Islam follows that model. Okay, but aren't you Muslim as you claim that Ibrahim is the one who built the Kaaba? He actually rebuilt it. Okay, so who is the one who brought Islam to, to Mecca, correct? Who? Ibrahim. Islam as a religion or yeah. as a concept? Okay, you're my, you're my friend. You Muslim, you claim that Muhammad, he followed the religion of Abraham. Is that correct? Well, it's not the religion of Abraham. It's the religion of Adam and all the prophets. No problem. The, the no problem. Had. Okay, no problem. But don't you Muslim, you claim that Muhammad was following Abraham? Of course. You just said him. that Muhammad knew nothing about the teaching of Abraham. Well, those... why Muhammad did not know which teaching he was following then, if he did not know the teaching of Abraham? Mahua. Makana Ibrahim, uh, he was neither a Jew nor a Christian. So that means Sayyidina Ibrahim was a Muslim. Okay, you see, my friend, this, this verse you quote for me is uh, with my respect to you. I, I'm not trying to be rude for you, but this is a stupid verse. How the Quran says that Ibrahim, he was not Jew or a Christian when, when he is the father of the Jews. I mean, uh, what's wrong with people? So I will say that Abraham was, was a the father was the a Jew or? when he is the grand grandfather of the, of the Jews, the... huh? He was also the father of the Arabs. We will go for that, but you just said you quote for me that Abraham, he was okay. not a Jew or a Christian, correct? Okay, he was. Okay, what kind of logic this logic is if Abraham exists before both? I don't get it. Uh, could you repeat that one more time? Okay. Who is exist before the Jews or Abraham? Saint Abraham existed before them. Okay. So how he will be a Jew? Because there were no Jews then. Okay, exactly. So what the Quran is saying that he was not a Jew? What does that I, mean? Because some Jews claim that he was a Jew. There's and, no Jew will say that. This is and funny. Some Christians do that. My huh? friend, how he will be a Jew if he is the father of the Jew? Do you know what Jew mean? Yeah, uh, Yahudi. Exactly, but the Yehudi is is it from what? Is it from the children of uh, 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 
uh, of Abraham and then after no. Yehuda. So uh, listen. Yes. So, so, yes, Yehuda. So, okay, but how he can be sons. their grandson if he is, if, if they want to say that he is, he, you know, he is a Jew or I, he is a Christian, then that means that Abraham was born after Jesus. Thank you. All right, but this is stupid to say. And at the same time, your your Quran says that uh, that how you can debate about Abraham when Abraham uh, when you came after Abraham is that correct? No, I didn't. Who came after Abraham? The Christian and the Jews. No. What do you mean? Oh no, wait, sorry. Yeah, that the, the, they came after. So. All right. So the one who came That's after, he cannot thing. debate about the one who came before. Do we agree? Yes, but some but some Jews think that the, that the Jews existed before. What, what, what means that Jews exist before exist before Abraham? Yes, that's what some think. Where is the Jews who says that? Wallahi, I'm gonna have to look it up. My <laughs> hey friend, you are funny. <laughs> Wallahi, I'm very funny. <laughs> All right, so let us go back to zero. You see. Uh, well, I, I showed you a verse what saying is, I, I showed you a verse what? saying that you're a prophet you do not know what faith is and you do not know any scriptures. Scriptures mean what? Scriptures mean knowledge about the true God, you, correct? Until God taught him, so all right, but that's mean he was a pagan. No, he wasn't a pagan. So but he have no scriptures. <sighs> My friend, he have no faith. He have no faith. Yeah, focus he, focus with me. Yeah, and he, how does that tie? He have zero faith, correct? He have zero faith. He, he don't even know what faith is. He do not even know. Do we agree? Faith, yani, as in yani, how to pray or how? No, faith is faith. How to, how how to, to pray is ritual. Faith is belief. It's not an act. Faith is a belief. I believe in God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but so, believe in what? Okay, exactly. So he believe in what? But it doesn't say here he did not believe in God. No, it says because nor what faith is, he have no idea what the true faith is. And why? Because he do not know even what the scriptures is. So what scriptures Muhammad was reading if he do not know the scriptures of the true God? Well, he was reading nothing because he was illiterate. Exactly. He was okay. illiterate. Okay. So, so Muhammad is illiterate according to you. Muhammad, okay. he do not know the scriptures. Muhammad, he have no faith. So what was his religion? His religion? But how does that tie? Yeah, uh, yeah, Christian prince. You tell me. You tell me, my uh, friend. Uh, you tell me. If a person, if, if, and I'm, I'm reading your book, not my book. Your book saying that this man he do not know any scriptures. In order for me to know about God, I should know even at least one exactly. one so, one verse, one verse, yeah, no. uh, one statement from Abraham. Worship your God as an example. But he did not know. He did not know one verse. That's what the very Quran is saying. He did not know what the scriptures. He did not know what faith is. So he did not have faith in, in the true God. But he didn't need to know the scriptures. Yeah, Christian princess. Okay, listen, listen. Um, you know, we don't want to be rude to each other, right? You are saying to me that he do not need to know. So how he know? About what, the scriptures? How he know about God if he do not need to know the scriptures? Oh, well, how did he know about God? Yeah, because well, his father, you agreed that his father and God. his mother, his it's father and his mother, both are pagans. Okay, so I learn about my but God from my parents. No, listen, listen, you're a prophet, he says, you're a, pro you're a prophet, he says, that the, the father and the parents are the one who make the child a Jew or a Hindu or, or a Muslim or etc. You're a prophet. Isn't it your prophet that every child is born as a Muslim and then his father, his parents, they made okay. him. Huh? But that's the fitrah. Exactly. But that's mean the parents is the one who made you what you are. Okay, what is the parents of Muhammad? We can see Islam make more sense. My friend, I'll change the topic. What is the parents of Muhammad? Naam. What is the parents of Muhammad? They are pagan. So was the parents of Sayyidina Ibrahim. But according to your prophet, the one who made you a pagan is your parents. How? Your prophet says, the, they make them Christian or Jew. Everyone is born as a Muslim. And then their parents, his parents, they made him a Christian or a Jew, disbeliever, etc. 
So, so who is the one who made? Who, he didn't say it was a bad okay, thing. Okay, what the father of Muhammad taught his son, what the father of or the mother of Muhammad, because his father he died, what mm -hmm. is what the mother of Muhammad taught his son, her son, what the uncle of Muhammad taught his, his son. Died too. The uncle of Muhammad was pagan, correct? He was raised by uh, Harim al Saadiyah, but no, he wasn't pagan. He was uh -huh. pagan. okay. <laughs> so Abi Talib, he was a, he was a believer. Naam. <laughs> Abi Talib, he was a a, a believer. No. So he was, he was not. So were the parents of Sayyidina Ibrahim. They were also. Okay, famous. I'm asking you now. You see, the one who taught Muhammad the religion is his family. Muhammad, he grew no. up. Muhammad, no. he grew up in a family. All of them, they are pagans. Yeah, but but he wasn't a pagan. What is he the pro prove it to down. me? Prove it well, to me. I have a proof in well, front I, of me. I have a proof in front of me. Even your prophet, he says to a Muslim guy, to a, sorry, a, a person who is not a Muslim, he said to him, Abu wa Abi Finnar, my father and your father in hellfire, correct? Okay. Okay. But that so, the so what Muhammad family, all of them, they are pagans. So, what was Muhammad learning when he was youth, when he was 20, when he was 25, when he, he was. He wasn't learning paganism. He was what? He wasn't learning paganism. Uh, if, if all his family are pagans, so what he will learn? Then he's not going to be a pagan. How you, how you know so but this is, is but this is but this is against God. what your prophet not said. Idols. Okay, listen. Do you have any proof that Muhammad was not worshiping pagans before the age of forty? Yes, there is. What is there the proof? Hmm. Is that kissing the black stone? <laughs> well, kissing the black. The uh, the uh, black stone uh, the uh, black stone is not uh, is not considered worshiping. So it is what? Uh, it is I guess an act, but it's not worshiping. Why he kissed the black stone? Well, because the black stone is from heaven. It's so from did Allah say to Muhammad, "Kiss the black stone"? Hmm. I'm not sure. All right. So the black stone now from heaven, and this Maybe is what the Arab before Islam believe. So because the oh, black stone supposedly it's a meteor, okay. it's a meteor came from the sky. So you Muslims, okay. you believe just because a meteor fell from the sky, okay. that is. But what is that meteor gonna do? Uh, yeah, yeah well, it's not well, gonna. You because you and the Arab pagan, you and the Arab pagan do the same thing. You are kissing the black stone. Did the, did the Arab? Did the Arab? Did the Arab kiss the black stone before Muhammad? Yes. Okay.